Crew Show, Power 106. Good Let's morning. Go. Yes. Yo, listen, there's this book out, right? The History of Gangster Rap by Soren Baker. And Soren Baker is sitting with us right here, right now. Good morning, Soren. Yes, yes. Thank you all for having me. I appreciate Bro, it. Bro, thank of you course. for coming through. Appreciate it, man. And he's yes, working yes. on CC's book as well, coming yes, out soon. Yes, he is. We've been talking and we're putting something together. It's going to come out next year. You guys look for yeah, it. Let's man. get it. Let's get it, CC. I like it. <laughs> Speak it into existence. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, why not? The History of Gangster Rap. Dog, this book is, is first of all, it's available everywhere, right? Yeah, Amazon. Man. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and if you you like your independent retailers mm -hmm. in LA here it's at Amoeba and then you can get it on IndieBound if you're online right now you can check it out there and that'll tell you where to buy it independently so Amazon Barnes and Noble and IndieBound check it out okay. the history of gangster rap when's the uh, the book signing tomorrow yeah I have a big book signing tomorrow at the Barnes and Noble at the Grove in Los Angeles from 7 to 9. I'm going to mm -hmm. have special guests there. We're going to have a little talk and then a signing session afterwards. My so guy. Oh, I'm so really excited about yeah. that, man. Soren Baker is so full of hip-hop stories. It's insane. You're a journalist. <laughs> you're a hip-hop fan. Hip-hop journalist as well. You've yeah, interviewed um, pretty much everyone. Is that safe to say, Maji? Yeah, pretty much. I, mean, I haven't gotten gone... everybody, but I got <laughs> I got 90, 95% of them. Yo, That's and crazy. In the history of gangster rap, you cover so much, right? You, you cover the come up. You come. Yeah. You uh, you cover the uh, you know the uh, the trials and uh, all the troubles that uh, hip hop has gotten into the rise and the fall. Yeah, yeah, and the rise again. And it's the still, rise again. It's still, it's still here, man. And yeah, gangster rap in particular. You know, obviously, you know, you guys do a great job here at Power One and Six playing a lot of the artists, man. YG is obviously part of that. Nipsey mm -hmm. Hussle is part of that. Mm -hmm. Vince Staples is part of that. You know, and then we have emerging artists like G Perico is part of that. That's AD right. is part of that. For so sure, I mean, it's yeah. all, it's still alive and well, man. It's thriving. So why the dedication to to hip hop and gangster rap song? Well, I just grew up uh, when I was about ten years old. One of my friends from elementary school, Tom Early, gave me a, a tape. I'd asked him to make me a tape, and he just put this tape together. So when I was ten years old, man, I just fell in love with rap. It had a wide range of stories on there mm -hmm. you know it had like basketball by curtis blow uh you talk too much big mouth houdini um i need a beat ll cool j right right dana right, dane, right. legendary <clears throat> dana dane with nightmares and utfo roxanne roxanne so from there i realized and the show dougie fresh and get fresh crew with yeah. mc ricky d but the thing is i just love the stories i love the percussion and i love scratching so all of that just really you know, made me enamored with it. And then soon mm -hmm. after that is when I heard Schooly D uh, with PSK. And for those watching, I'm wearing a Gucci Time Schooly D shirt. See that? Thanks, I see uh, that. <laughs> thanks for uh, Schooly and Juan for shooting that to me, as always, <laughs> keeping me laced with my Schooly D gear. But I just fell in love with it, man. I yeah. just loved, because uh, I resonated a lot with it because I played basketball at the time. And then Curtis sure. Blow has basketball. And then, yeah. You know, a lot of stuff was going on. I read a lot. And growing up, I grew up in Maryland, so I grew up right in between Baltimore and D.C. Yeah. And the stuff that I would see on the news or my parents were big. Uh, my mom and dad were really big into reading. And so when I would read the newspaper, the stuff that I would see, the rappers, you know, Schooly D would be talking about violence and people getting shot and, and drugs and different things. And, yeah. and Ice-T soon thereafter. And obviously with the explosion of Easy e and N.W.A. So I saw what was being talked about in the music in the newspaper mm -hmm. and then i was like well wait a second this is really interesting and then i just you know became more and more enamored with it and i just began studying it and loving it and trying to figure out sure. how i could be part of it and you know soren listen i'm a hip-hop fan been a hip-hop fan since since birth you feel me mm -hmm. and you think you you've heard it all you think you've seen it all and then i dive into the book my g and there's one-on-one -on -one interviews there's a lot of stuff in there yes. that that came from the artist's mouth you he feel me like personally from exhibit yeah shout out to exhibit he's always holding me down man that's a good friend of mine mm -hmm. and i've known exhibit since right around the time he came out sure, so, sure you know we're going on more than 20 years yeah as friends and and working together with him and just you know doing stuff together with our families so it's amazing that you know i'll always remember when i was 12 years old i was listening with my boy sean craig to a saturday night the album by schooly d at, at our basketball court sure and I remember saying, like, man, I wonder what Schooly D is. He really like how he is in his records. Is he, you know, cool like that and all that? Right, right, right. And literally, ten years later, Schooly D invited me to his house because I was going to be interviewing him, and I he knew I was still living in Maryland because I'd talked to him. And he's cool like that. 
Super cool, oh, man. Yeah. And it was, it was amazing. You're like, a true hip hop fan, my guy. <laughs> I mean, look at on the cover. You got Snoop Dogg, yeah, Ice Cube, Ice T. Yeah, yeah. A lot of dope pictures on yes. there as well. A lot of I, pictures I, I've never seen either, man. Well, that's because I took a lot of those pictures. Oh, oh you right? did? So you yeah. own them, my guy. You talk about hip hop <laughs> on, on MTV. I, I asked him, I was like, how long did it take you to write this book? He's like, well, it's been my experience throughout my career, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, with yeah. all these artists. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, man, because the thing that. I realized as my career progressed is that I really, as I do with the mu- in the book, is I really focused on the music, like what the music was about. And when it relates to their personal life, I brought that up, but I wasn't, yeah. you know, trying to be salacious. I really focused sure, sure. purely on the music. On the truth. Because that's, that's what I always cared about. The music itself, how it was made, why it was made, mm-hmm. and the interaction of what led the artists to create the music they created. And throughout the history of Gangsta Rap Book, that's really what I focus on. Can I keep this one? Of course, man. <laughs> that's why I brought <laughs> it for you. Read it. I'm yes. going to show it to Yachty. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to show it to everybody in YBN. You can show it to 6 9 <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Show it to everybody you send can. Send this yes. to Takashi. Send this book to Takashi, my yeah, G. Yeah, please. All right, listen. Uh, the book is called The History of Gangster Rap, The Rise of a Great American Art Form from Schooly D to Kendrick Lamar. The cover already is insane. And then you, you, you get into the book and the stories and the interviews and the pictures are crazy. If you're a hip-hop fan, this is something you need on your coffee table. You definitely need this yeah, I appreciate um, it. for long trips as well. So the book signing tomorrow at the Grove, right? What time? Yes, sir. 7 and 9 p.m. at the Grove, the Barnes and Noble. Be there. I'll be uh, signing books. We'll have some special guests. We're gonna have a talk uh, about gangster rap. I like Feel that. free to ask questions, you know, and uh, pick up a book. And I appreciate it. That's hey, right. Man. Hey, the I book is it. available everywhere, um, and on it. Amazon as well. Yes. Soren Baker, thank you very much. Yes. Congratulations, Soren my Baker, G. Baby. Yep, Baker. Power 106, number one for hip hop. Hang Mom. on.